okay so it's the end of the night i basically already did my skincare but um my son right here he needed attention uh so i couldn't exactly show you guys um but I basically use the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm, and because I only do my makeup once to twice a week, I don't really use that much of it. Like, this is a travel one, and I've barely made a little dent in it. Uh, I rub that all over my face, and then I use this little, like, uh, cotton thing. Uh, it's from Eco Tools, um, and then I use the micellar cleansing water. I put, like, pour it all over that, and then I wipe the rest of the balm off my face, basically. Then I get some water. Uh, take the rest of it off and if I feel like I really need a deep clean, which I usually don't um, I use this I use the Cozarx advanced snail mucin gel cleanser uh, It's really nice. Like it's not so abrasive. It's just I don't know. I really like it I usually do use it after I work out in the mornings so I can really clean my face I use it in the shower and then after that I got the elf toner with oat milk aloe juice and niacinamide I put this in this little spray bottle so all I have to do is like use two pumps of this like I sprayed on my hand I spread it all over my face that dries down pretty fast and I use two pumps of the Cozarx Advanced Nail 96 Mucin Power Essence. I use two pumps of this, like it's literally down to half. Let wait for that to get tacky, basically. And then I use the Advanced Nail some Advanced Nail 92 All-in-One Cream as a moisturizer, basically. And once that actually basically gets tacky or dries down a bit. I use the Earth Harbor Marina Biome Brightening Ampule. This one right here. Uh, I actually got this in my Fat Fit Fun Box and I, I love it so much. I didn't think I would like a brightening um, oil, but I guess that one is really good. Like, I don't know. I really like it. And then basically to finish all that off. What's up? I use the complex culture um tool like i just kind of rub it all over the areas that i feel puffy that i need it to cool off and you just pretty sure you hear that so yeah i use that all over my face <sighs> be careful and that basically is my whole routine for the night morning and actually, if I'm feeling lazy during the day, like if I really want to actually be moisturized, but I don't want to use my um, skincare, my regular skincare, I basically just use like a little bob of this all over my face just so that I can feel that dryness. And then I'll shower, I'll take it off, I'll do my regular stuff. And then at night, um, again, if I'm feeling lazy, let's say I'm super tired or like, I don't know, I'm just not feeling it. Um, I usually do this like maybe once a month, twice at the most. I'll use the Olay Regenerous Retinol, the night moisturizer. Yeah, I'll just put a glob of this on and then I'll put like the the brighten, brightening ampule on oil. So just to seal it in, just, you know, to make sure that it's, my skin's protected. That's what I usually use, basically. That was for when I'm feeling lazy and then my regular routine. Somehow I got a cut on my lip. It happened this morning and I have no freaking clue how that happened. Oh well. What? But yeah, um <sighs> let me know if you guys uh like this video. Um this is my regular oh that reminds me. As my like lazy to go freaking serum like oil kind of based serums to like seal everything in this is my uh basically my lazy one this i use for the olay it's the grace and stella grace and stella hyaluronic acid hydrating serum so yeah it is it also came with my um fat fit flower box this is really nice i just the smell is something else so yeah, that's basically it. 
Um, I really like the Cozart X formulas. Um, once I'm done with that one, I'm thinking about switching to the Propoli one because that one was actually recommended for me when I did their little test. But I'm like, you know what, let's try the Snail Mucin one because I have a feeling it just wants me to buy the more expensive products. But now that I see that it really does work, like this is my skin breaking out. Like this is very minimal. This was after shaving and you know, dealing with period acne. So yeah, like that's my face looking bad right now. So I really like their formulas and I'm probably gonna buy the next, that, the Propoli one next once I'm done with this one. The problem is, is that it's quite pricey, but again, it's worth it. So yeah, if you guys really enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, comment down below if you've tried any of these products. Um, if you would like to try any of these products. And that was my son dropping a big old bottle of lotion. If you guys want any more insight about what I do, um, I guess makeup-wise, skincare-wise, just let me know. Uh, I'm happy to answer any questions you guys got. Alright, well, I will see you guys in the next video. It'll probably be about my workout routine. Or maybe I'll even show you guys the backyard to see our small little progress with it. Because I'm really just excited to get that going. No joke. I need a chicken coop for my chickens. Alright, well, anyways, I'll see you guys later. Bye!